Hi, it's Jim Carrey with Cash and Carry All Access. Tell me where you want me to take you, and I will. Jim.carry at coxradio.com. Now, this morning I got an email from Stephen Owasso, and he said, Jim, I heard you and Kelly talking all about the Fort Gibson National Cemetery and how beautiful it is for Memorial Day. Can you tell me more about it? Well, Steve, I'm going to one-up you. I'm going to take you there with Cash and Carry All Access, and that's where we are right now. Fort Gibson National Cemetery, this place is ready to go for Memorial Day. Flags on every single grave marker. This place is just truly beautiful. Now the best way to experience a national cemetery is simply to walk through it. It's to walk, it's to listen, and it's to look. So let's go on a walk right now to the Fort Gibson National Cemetery. My dad was in the army. We lived in Europe when I was a kid, about six years old, and I remember going to all the national cemeteries in Europe. It's quite a sight when you see tens of thousands of gravestones in each and every cemetery. But my dad said something to me that made me feel so much better. He said, Jim, notice each and every grave marker is the same. Same shape, same color, same size, lined up perfectly with the one to the left and right, directly behind the one in front, and diagonal to the one to the front left and the front right. He says, and look at the shapes, not just straight lines we make here, but look at that. Look at the V. He said that V right there stands for the victory, the victory of these men and women. They gave their lives, but to a victorious cause. They didn't lose anything. They gained victory. And that's comforting when you're a little kid. And then I saw other shapes. I call them the highways to God. Look at those. It's as if there's highways in these gravestones, like God laid them out and gave them a road to heaven. It's amazing. National cemeteries are truly a solemn place, a wonderful place, and filled with men and women who did something astounding. They didn't back down. There's a poem at the front of the Fort Gibson National Cemetery. It's called the bivouac of the dead. The muffled drum's sad roll has beat, the soldier's last tattoo. No more on life's parade shall meet that brave and fallen few. On fame's eternal camping ground, their silent tents are spread, and glory guards with solemn round the bivouac of the dead. 